Well, the FBI is facing sharp criticism over its investigation into possible ties between Russia and Donald Trump's 2016 presidential campaign. Special counsel John Durham says that there were critical errors in the probe, although he did not conclude those mistakes were politically motivated. Catherine Harridge joins me now with more on this. Good morning, Catherine. Well, good morning, Emory. The Durham report found the FBI discounted or willfully ignored information that did not support the Russia collusion narrative. House Republicans now want Durham to testify about the findings next week. After nearly four years of investigation, special counsel John Durham found the FBI lacked actual evidence to investigate then-candidate Donald Trump's campaign in 2016. Durham said the bureau was too reliant on investigative leads provided or funded by Trump's political opponents. The report did not reveal major new findings, but it repeated prior criticism from Trump. There was no collusion at all. The FBI expanded its original probe, known as Crossfire Hurricane, based partly on information from Christopher Steele. Steele, a former British spy, put together a research dossier alleging possible misconduct between then-candidate Trump and Russia. Durham found investigators did not and could not corroborate any of the substantive allegations contained in the Steele reporting. This has been a big black eye for a lot of the uh, federal law enforcement and intelligence communities. Bob Anderson is a former senior FBI executive. Where there's smoke, there's not always fire. And I think taking that extra second to look at this, verify things before you actually went down that road might have been a little better off. The FBI investigation was the basis for appointing special counsel Robert Mueller, who had an even broader mandate. There were multiple systematic efforts to interfere in our election. Mueller's report concluded there was insufficient evidence of a criminal conspiracy involving President Trump, his associates, and Russia. Every time Russia is brought up, they say, oh, Trump, what do I have to do with it? In a statement, the FBI says it has implemented dozens of corrective actions, which could have prevented errors made by the Bureau in 2016. On social media, former President Trump reacted to the report, saying the American people had been scammed. You don't ever want the American people thinking that the United States intelligence or the FBI is in any way doing anything outside of just looking at the facts. Critics charged the Durham investigation cost taxpayers $6 million, and Durham brought only two cases to trial. Both men were found not guilty, and the third case ended with a plea agreement. Durham recommends the creation of a new position to handle politically sensitive investigations in the future, Anne-Marie. That might be a good recommendation. Uh, you know, we've been hearing sort of a lot of back and forth about whether or not the FBI should have opened an investigation in the first place. What did Durham find? Well, Durham in the report, the more than 300-page report, seems to choose his words very carefully. What he writes is that the FBI had an obligation to examine allegations concerning the Trump campaign, but that bureau investigators didn't do basic due diligence to see whether the intelligence was credible. And when there were questions about the veracity of the underlying sources, they seemed to blow past that and side with information they thought was consistent with the Russia collusion narrative. Amory. Mm -hmm. And the report found mm -hmm. that the FBI warned the Clinton campaign about Russian interference, but did not warn the Trump campaign. What more well, can you tell us about that? Yeah, that's another key finding of this investigation, is that Durham found that there was disparate treatment of the two political campaigns, the Clinton campaign and the Trump campaign. When the FBI had intelligence of Russian interference in the 2016 election, they gave the Clinton campaign what's called a defensive briefing so they could have their guard up that they were warned. But the FBI did not give a similar briefing to the Trump campaign. I think it's also worth noting that one of the principal witnesses to this investigation, the former FBI Director James Comey, according to Durham, if you look at the footnotes on page 47, declined to give an interview, his lawyer saying that he had given a number of episodes of congressional testimony and he had cooperated with other agencies. So bottom line is that Durham did not hear from Director Comey and how these missteps occurred. Uh, interesting, because those would be the questions that many people would have that we want answers for. Uh, Catherine, thank you very much. You're welcome.